even though this episode is called tomorrow, I'm still super worried because I got to worry about what's going on today, if that makes sense. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 13. It does feel weird saying that. We are getting somewhat deep into the show. I am super excited. Last episode, even though I said I'm super excited, I'm not super excited. Last episode, we lost Junpei. I don't I don't even want to talk about that. Just a horrible fight, a horrible situation. Um, some people commented over on the Patreon that the reason why Sukuna denied the pact. I don't know if I already talked about this. I definitely could have was uh, the fact that he already had a pact instilled, not for the fact that he like really couldn't or didn't want to do it. It's just that Mahito doesn't realize that Sukuna already went a, a like he has his own plan of making a pact and already did that where I don't know because Mahito's idea was for Sukuna to get dominance. I don't know if Sukuna got dominance from the pact because he says, I'm going to say extension, you'll give me a minute and I won't even kill anyone in that minute. So that's very interesting. But then it makes me go back and think like Sukuna is so strong, he could have kept him dead or made a pact with more agreeable terms or better terms for Sukuna. Like I'm, I'm genuinely curious what's going on in Sukuna's mind as to why he needs that one minute out of his body. Who knows with that? I am so excited to find out what happens with Nanami. Came in to save the day. We're gonna, he's gonna make him so he can't move, and then we're gonna shower him with blows. So hopefully we can exercise Mahito. This might be the last episode we see Mahito. Highly doubtful, but I'm excited. I say we jump right on into this. Uh, let's do this right now. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, like Q, Black Clover, many, many more to come in the future, check out that Patreon. We are four episodes ahead. Links are always in the description for you guys. If you guys want to support me, and Patreon's not really your thing. If you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, click that bell so you guys always know when I post. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 13, called Tomorrow. Let's do this right now. Oh, man. Hell yeah. I cannot wait. Let's do this. Look at this squad, bro. These are my fucking boys. I just need Megumi here, and this will be the best trio, I'm telling you. These are my boys. Oh, my God. Okay, Shoji. Keep an eye on him. I get it. Oh, my God. The creativity from Mahito's attacks are so crazy. He could literally turn into anything. Oh, he made his body smaller. Wow. Oh, he's spitting up some other humans. Yep, he always has humans on deck. I didn't know he kept them in his body, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's so fucked up. I feel so bad for Yuji. I feel you, Yuji. I would be the same way, man. No, that makes you think he was a kid, bro. Come on. These easily could have been just tr transfigured kids. Oh, no. I would have to at that point. I would feel so bad I would have to. Yeah, I'd be like that. That's my boy Nanami. Hell yeah. I sure hope so. Ooh, 7 3 is head. Ooh, and then Yuji with the other kick. Shower him with blows, guys. Shower him with blows. Shower him with. Bro, this is like an old school fucking gangster beating the shit out of him. He had like jujutsu weavings in his mouth, like he's on some Orochimaru type shit. Self embodiment of perfection. Domain expansion. Holy shit. He only got Nanami in there? I thought he took Yuji too. I, I would be. I'm not watching the show if Nanami dies, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. He doesn't have his own domain expansion. Oh my lord. 
He could probably just... That's... Mm. Oh my god, the visualization is insane. I'm literally in the palm of his hand. If... Nanami flashback? Not what I was expecting at all. Is this when he... Is this when he took a... Oh, is it, he was talking about the tribulations of being an adult is losing your things. You know, losing your stuff at your favorite convenience store. But is this when he took his little sabbatical from Jujutsu Sorcery and became a businessman for a little bit? The struggles, the struggles. He saw that, but it's a fly head, so it's, you know, better off leaving it alone. I get it. Money makes the world go round. It shouldn't be the end all be all of your life, but it is for a lot of people. You know, a lot of people think this way. Their shoulders are stiffening, yep. Because you actually have a curse, literally absorbing your, your life energy. You know what? That is so real, yet yeah, it makes no sense, you know? Logically, it makes no sense. I get it. That's... I love Nanami. No. He's just going... He's talking to himself. He doesn't really have anyone to talk to right now. Yeah, let me get this fucking fly head off your shoulder. Like it was nothing. Nanami's a good dude, bro. No concept of a reason for living. That's a big thing in anime, ha not having that concept. It's, everyone has their nindo, you know, their ninja way, the thing they live for. Man, that was a fan. I love Gojo's laughing at that, that fact that he's coming back. I just wanted to pause it real quick because I love that story. It's, it fits in so well with Nanami. I just, I want to know more. I genuinely do. I want I wanted to just dive into his head because I get what he was saying. You know, money is everything, as long as he, especially as someone who doesn't have a reason for living or anything special to do, you know, that's, like, it's sad to think about because we're we're so enraptured in these animes where they're so romanticized and everyone has this special life dream, has this special bad guy at the end of their life to, to destroy and beat, whereas Nanami is literally all of us, you know, like, when they tell you what do you want to be when you grow up, you know, it's such... Like, I don't want to say bullshit because we're kids, but it's just whatever we think of at the time. You know, some people actually go do pursue those dreams up until their adulthood, but like 90% of people don't go that way. So when he was like, I don't want to say stuck in that mentality, but when he when he had that mentality for a while, you know, and then he I, I love that that line, lo logically speaking, you know, like all I do is steal and make the rich you know, all I do is make my company richer and steal money from people. I'm literally a con man when you when you boil it down to certain aspects. But no one would care if I was missing. Yet a bakery, which everyone cares about, went missing. Everyone, yet I get paid more than the baker does. It it doesn't make sense at all. But that's how fucked up this world is in corporate corporate business. You know, that's just how that is. That's a whole separate topic for a separate. I just really enjoyed how he went from that to. It started with the girl as well. To he has his life has deteriorated over the last couple of years. He helped her out. He said thank. She said thank you immensely. He said thank you. Hmm. Uh, you know I don't. I still am living a life with no reason. You know. And then he called it like it's so. It's it's perfect without saying too much. I love it so. This so. Uh, Nanami, my dude, bro. I'm saying, if you kill Nanami, I will. Took off his glasses. I don't need your gratitude. All Jujutsu Sorcerers live their life with regret, but the fact that Nanami isn't living with regret because of his being thanked by others is amazing. And then my boy Yuji jumping in out of nowhere. 
I have no idea. He's a fucking god. Really? That's good. That's great to know. Because there's yeah, I mean that makes sense. That'd be easy to break into. Why would you break in there? I don't want to pause it again because I just paused it, but that makes so much sense in terms of an energy, in terms of a downside of a super strong ability. Yes, it's your domain expansion. Yes, it ensnares him. But why would someone who want it's a guaranteed death in there? Just the just the general nature of the ability. Why would the outside like you're just thinking about Darwinism and evolution? Why would the outside be strong if you get inside you die? Like it just doesn't make sense. So no one would ever break in. So why would you make the outside strong? So obviously it would be weak. It makes a lot of sense. This is a great reason as to why we did that. Guided by only his pleasure and displeasure. Aside from Megumi? Why Megumi? Is it ever since that episode 5 when he said, Your talent's being wasted? He said, Other than Megumi. Yeah, what did just happen? You broke into the domain expansion. Sukuna was not happy with Mahito. Is Yuji going to give the final blow? I don't need any more taxes. This is just typical anime. Get a big ass strong punch. Everything we've got into our fists. I love this song. Divergent fist. Let's do it, baby. And that secondary blow. Nanami was not trying to let that happen. Damn, Ma to think Mahito, my big bad right now, barely came out of this alive. This was a crazy ass fight. I loved this episode so far. The King of Curses. Yeah, when you think about it, oh yeah, that's full power Sukuna is going to be something else. I'm so excited. I mean, oh, I just realized, bro, now that Mahito is gone, we have, we have no hope for Junpei, do we? In that domain, Nanami was definitely dead. Oh, that's that makes a lot of sense because he went in the domain. The very valid point. Arduous at best. I would have to agree with my friend, even though. I still, I love that mentality, especially coming from that first episode with Gramps, you know, like he, I still love, it. he's like, you're a strong kid. Don't be like me, you know, have a proper death, surrounded by friends and family and people who care about you. And because he loved his grandpa so much, he wants to do that for everyone else, you know, but like, <laughs> when you put it logistically speaking, it's even if good people die in the most peaceful death and bad people are punished, Still, no one's good or evil. You know, there's a mix of everything and everyone. So it's like, it's a, the whole world is a gray area when you put it that way. So it's very difficult to be able to do this task. Damn. True. I love that reasoning, Nanami. It's my boy. So I wonder if the teacher is instilling this. I wonder if there's serious change that's being done thanks to Junpei. Good. I always thought this principal was a, was an asshat. Not a principal, I'm just assuming principal because he reminds me of the one from Haikyuu, but his teacher, because 
he was literally watching them do it to Junpei and walking away like real teachers do. That shit is real. That student, same thing. Like, what are you going to do? Are you really going to go out of your way to make yourself an enemy to save someone? That's, again, a whole different topic for another video. But it and it sucks that literally, I mean, they're saying he moved away. They're saying whatever stories come out with, you know, that's what they're going to say. But it literally took Junpei dying for some actual change. It literally took him almost having like a school shooter moment and, and coming back and almost killing, I think his name is Ito, right? You know, like, this shouldn't need to get this deep for shit to change, but I'll, at, at the very least, I don't know, at least it's changing. Until you do understand, until you kill him, both of them, Mahito and Sakuna, we're gonna save as many people as we can. We get Megumi over here. These are the four best characters in the show. Guaranteed. I love these guys. I won't lose again. I won't. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, I love this show. Oh, that was a fantastic episode. Fantastic climax of that fight. We actually saw um, Mahito develop his domain expansion on the spot, which was just in a crazier version of Idol Transfiguration, of course. But I love that visualization where, you know, obviously it needs to touch you normally for it to work. But once you're trapped in his domain expansion, you're literally in the palm of his hand. So he's like constantly touching you and it's like you're in the palm. Like that's just I love that saying. I love that visualization. I love that whole thing. I love the reasoning behind the outside being easy, easily able to penetrate. You guys know what I'm trying to say. You can break in the outside a lot easier. I I felt so bad for Yuji having to fight those transfigured kids. You know, I could obviously they were, it seemed like they were kids. You know, I would assume so. Maybe I don't fucking know, but I, I really enjoyed Nanami's backstory as well. It's not even like his full backstory. It was literally just his four years uh, break from Jujutsu Sorcery to be a businessman, because all he cared about was money. But money especially when you live that kind of life doesn't do anything for you you know like I, I genuinely feel like that girl running out of the shop saying thank you thank you please come back again thank you meant more to him than almost the entire four years of the money you know like it's and i love how it cut to well it didn't cut to it but yaga masamichi when he said uh no jujutsu sorcerer dies without regrets and then he says because he especially nanami being one who had never lived his life with a specific purpose like yuji does to give people proper deaths you know um he lived with no regrets because of how many people over the years probably said thank you to him and, and were grateful for the things he's done which is super touching you know like it's it's like he's like one of those I don't want to say ice cold guys. He's like Aizawa to me. You know, I love characters like Aizawa. If you guys watch my hero, I love those strict characters who, you know, has a heart of gold and will lay down their lives on like, a number of times to protect the ones who like the next generation, the ones who like they're both teachers, too, which is incredible. But like, I love those type of those type of personalities. I, I mean, I love Aizawa. I love Nanami. It makes a whole lot of sense, you know, but. I really enjoy that Yuji is the one who saved him this time. They, they are constantly doing that to each other. You know, I'm telling you, man, Mahito got out of there. Sakuna, the whole how he was, he said, I'm, I, fool, I warned you, there's not going to be a second time. I'm so curious why Sakuna said it. Nanami could die. Mahito could die. Mahito could die. I don't care as long as Megumi doesn't die. Why? Bro, I'm so excited. I, I don't know specifically what happens, but I do know during the last few episodes when this was airing live that Megumi was trending all over on Twitter. You guys can't see it right now, but even underneath this, I feel like I'm stripping for you guys, getting butt naked. I am wearing my, Jesus Christ, my Megumi Demon Dog white shirt. I got to rep the boy under this at least. You guys know, but fantastic episode super i didn't write anything down super excited to find out what happens next um if you guys are wondering why the juju strolls never make into the video it's so hard to edit these on the 10 minutes with that in like there's so many other important parts that i have to you know you know all i can do is recommend checking out the full length if you guys ever want to check those out but i'm gonna get into this next episode hopefully you guys enjoy this if you did leave a like let me know your thoughts check out that patreon like always i'll, I'll catch you guys in this next one peace out you guys